Knowledge of the Holy, Chapter 8, God's Infinitude. Infinitude, the state of being infinite, having no limit, endless, impossible to measure, impossible for a limited mind to grasp. That's who our God is. We must desire to see God's glory at whatever cost, so that we may know him and adore him as we should. Tozer states the glory of God has departed from the church and the God we made. He can never surprise us, overwhelm us, surpass us. He's just a regular God. Our God, the God of glory, will reveal himself to us. The reveal requires a habitation of love, faith, and humility. We just have to want him, being desperate for him, and he will show up and manifest himself to us. The dilemma in 2021 is trying to imagine the wisdom and knowledge of God. But when we come to understand him better, there is no power equal or comes close to the qualities, content, and greatness of God. Our mental efforts fail to comprehend him, for he is greater than our mind. He is greater than our language, our thoughts used to describe him. We use the word infinite carelessly because it cannot describe any created thing. Only God is infinite, measureless. Measurements only relate to created things by the creator. Nothing in God is less or more, large or small. He is what he is in himself without qualifying thought or word. He is simply God. It is believed that there are other aspects of God's essential being, which he has not revealed to us. These hidden facets of God's nature concerns his relation to none but himself. There is no reason to try to discover what has not been revealed. It is enough to know God and to know that God is God. We get frustrated by limitations while living our daily lives, but when we are in Christ, we are able to turn to our God who has no limitations. Time does not pass for him, but remains. Those in Christ share this with him. That is eternal life. God never hurries. He has no deadlines. In knowing him, he gives us comfort. But to those outside of Christ, time is like a devouring beast. The gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus is as limitless as God. As a believer in him, we receive this gift, eternal life. In God, there is life enough for all, and time enough to enjoy it. Our purpose is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. God's mercy is infinite. Where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Abounding sin is the terror of the world, but abounding grace is the hope of mankind. Sin has its limits and is a product of finite minds and hearts. But God is much more. He introduces us to infinitude. Against our deep creature sickness stands God's infinite ability to cure. For God so loved the world, our infinite God, that he gave his only son, in God's infinitude, his love is measureless, more boundless, because it is not a thing, but a facet of the essential nature of God. To know his infinite nature, we must know the one true God and Jesus whom he sent. To God be the glory.